orangutan that gives birth confuses keepers as she bolts toward them with the baby. Although zoo animals feast on provided meals and generally feel comfortable around people, they're still wild creatures at heart. Their keepers can't force them to do something they don't want to, even if their survival depends upon it, just like with one group of zoologists in 2013. They'd put all their resources into helping along the next generation of one primate family. But in the end, the big delivery still sprung one big surprise that they never saw coming. Dana the orangutan was under a lot of pressure. It's not like she had a job or mortgage to pay off, but the future of her entire species was at stake, and their chances weren't looking too great. Of course, Dana herself didn't have to worry. She and a handful of other orangutans lived in England's Jersey Zoo. They had everything they needed there, thanks to the inspiring vision of one man. Naturalist Gerald Durrell founded the Conservation Center in 1959. Though he designed it to house well over 100 species, he always had a soft spot for orangutans. It was clear how much was at stake. Sumatran orangutans like Dana once thrived, covering a large region of the Indonesian islands. Since the dawn of globalization, however, their fortunes had turned considerably. Some feared it was already too late to save them by 2013. Widespread destruction of their natural rainforest habitat, along with poaching operations, caused the orangutan population to plummet to just 7,500 worldwide. Although there are plenty of critically endangered species out there, this one is particularly troubling. Orangutans are one of the closest genetic relatives to human beings, sharing over 97% of the same DNA. This means that our intelligent, emotional orangutan cousins are in danger. Dana herself nearly died once before. Gordon Hunt, the head ape keeper at the Jersey Zoo, remembered the incident like it was yesterday. Back in 2009, one of his most exciting days on the job suddenly morphed into a total nightmare. Dana was pregnant, which sent the Jersey Zoo staff into hysterics. No baby orangutans had been born there in years. This potentially marked a turning point in the primate's trajectory, until everything went totally off the rails. As Dana went into labor, the zoo employees were horrified to see that it was a stillbirth. What made the situation even worse was that the orangutan was grappling with internal hemorrhaging, they rushed to save her. Severe as the trauma was, Jersey Zoo managed to save Dana's life. However, the resulting damage unfortunately blocked her fallopian tubes. Gordon and his team doubted that she could ever be able to produce offspring again. But they knew they had to try. The zookeepers rang Dr. Neil McLaughlin, a renowned obstetrician from Jersey's General Hospital. He'd treated countless patients across his storied career, but Jordan asked if he'd ever operated on an orangutan before. As a matter of fact, Dr. McLaughlin figured that he could perform surgery on Dana. Her internal organs were nearly identical to those of a human, meaning that the procedure would involve all the same steps. They could only hope it reversed Dana's infertility. The gamble eventually paid off. By early 2013, Dana made it and began showing signs of pregnancy, proving that Dr. McLaughlin's operation was a success. Of course, this didn't guarantee that this pregnancy wouldn't end like the last. The Jersey Zoo staff kept a close eye on the orangutan in those following months. Meticulous medical tests and nonstop observation suggested that the baby was coming along just fine. All they could do was wait. In the early hours of one November morning, a series of phone calls awoke the Jersey Zoo staff. Dana was going into labor. Despite the chill outside, they hurriedly got dressed to witness the historic event. In addition to fighting off extinction, zookeepers had a chance to achieve a huge milestone no orangutan birth was ever recorded before, so they planned to covertly film the entire delivery, Jane Goodall style. It was fortunate Jordan's team got the camera in place because the entire thing happened remarkably fast. They gasped as the baby primate simply popped out, and Dana attentively cleaned him off. However, she did something no one expected next. The mama orangutan turned directly towards the zookeepers. They froze. Was she threatened that they'd all watch such a vulnerable moment? They barely held their nerve as Dana rushed over toward the glass barrier to confront them. But Gordon soon realized Dana wasn't angry at all. She was overjoyed and wanted to show her newborn son to her friends. They named him Kijaiban, which translates to miracle in Indonesian. 
Kijai Ban's birth alone wouldn't bring back orangutans from the brink, but he represented an important step in the right direction. The zookeeper's heroics made it all possible, though not every risk they've taken has paid off. Please share this with your friends and family.